G'day people of YouTube. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I happened to blunder past or into an electric vehicle expo over the weekend. So let's just have a quick walk around and see what they had on offer. And I thought I'd just come and have a look at it because, well, I just wanted to see what's happening in the electrical vehicle market. And also because I've done a video on this particular oval and parking area before and lamented the lack of bike parking. Compared to Perth, of course, where they have lots of bike parking at sites like this. Uh, so here I am riding on the shared path that goes past uh, the Hanging Rock Oval and I saw all these cars there and tents and marquees set up and I thought, well, oh, what's going on there? I'll pull in and have a look. And, oh, it's an EV Expo. Who knew? I'd seen absolutely nothing advertising this. Now what I'm doing here is I'm actually going through the local council's tent they didn't have uh, any table set up, I didn't see any staff because I was going to ask them the question, you're having this kind of nice clean green expo here, uh, where's the bike parking? Because isn't that the cleanest and greenest way of getting around and there's the shared path that goes past, the health, healthy heart active path, surely it would be a good idea to have bike parking at a location where you know all these things meet. I had stopped and had a chat with these scooter people because when I was in Perth I noticed a lot of people driving um, or riding e-scooters and most of them were what I'd call business people commuting in a town or obviously going to meetings. Now, I was also interested in uh, that electric buggy you see there on the right of the screen. It's, uh, it was more of a quad bike as a replacement for or electric quad bike for farm use but the next day I happened to see this lady going into town on something that looked very similar. And these kinds of things are actually fairly popular down here with the retired community. You know, that guy's actually got a registered um, uh, golf cart. And I've seen a couple of them around, some with petrol motors, some electric. And this is the more traditional gopher that, uh, you know, that old dude was riding. You see plenty of them around as well. They had all sorts of stuff at the expo, electric lawn mowers, mountain bikes, uh, e-bikes of all sorts, charging stations, uh, trailers with solar panels on them all sorts of you know stuff that was electric and i think yeah one day i'll be in the market for uh, an electric bike of some sort but it's probably going to be what i'd call my lazy uh shopping bike so you know when i can't be bothered when i don't want to go for a long ride when i just want to pop down the shops which are a couple of kilometers away and put some stuff in the panniers and i just want to do it in casual clothes and any weather then i'd probably just want a you know bottom of the range uh e-bike of some sort now i stopped to take a photo of these two bikes here because i thought that was a really good fishing setup there you can see there's the the bucket on the rack at the back with the uh the fishing rods hanging out of it and I thought, yeah, that's, that's what a lot of people around here are actually looking for in an electric vehicle. Something that, they, you know, it's small, it's cheap, it's easy to park, it's manoeuvrable. It can take you right to the location of where you want to go. You don't have to, you know, drive round and round and round looking for a parking spot or park 100 metres away from where you want to go. And all you're doing is just carrying a couple of things. In this case, some bait, maybe take some fish home. And look, I saw these guys a little bit later as I was riding into town. There they are set up on this uh, jetty doing their fishing. Absolutely perfect. They can actually, you know, park their bikes in a location that you could never get a car to. They don't have to even carry the bucket down the jetty to, uh, to you know, get to the fishing spot. Just away you go. Much more effective than having a dirty great big uh, truck like that. But again, disappointing that there's absolutely no bike parking at this clean green electric expo thing um, and you know that really is something that I guess the, the local councils have to address that yeah it's it's nice to support this electric revolution but what about also putting in the infrastructure or encouraging the infrastructure at uh, I guess you call it the, the lower end of the market the bottom end um, you know the bicycle end where uh, you can encourage so many short trips to move to bikes if you actually put in some secure convenient bike parking.